Well, first, first two things. One, I want to thank our fans. Um, I want to thank the Poinsettia Bowl for allowing us the opportunity to come here and play. I also want to recognize Northern Illinois and have a chance to play them. Uh, we have tremendous respect for them. We've watched all their film, and I think that's why our guys played so well tonight. Uh, they, they really made us focus on what we had to do and how we had to come out and play. So a credit to them. I wish them safe travels as well. But uh, just really proud <clears throat> of our coaches, players, and their preparation, their focus. That's one thing that everybody questions is what type of focus you're going to have when you go to a bowl game and you have different events. These guys were able to lock in when they needed to, enjoy the moments when they had opportunities to do that, refocus and get back. Uh, preparing for the game and all that really showed up tonight and I think a lot of emotion with some guys that uh, with our seniors for their 40th win uh, for this team uh, what we learned from this entire season we wanted this to be our best performance of the year and really felt like uh, from the sideline and, and what happened out there on the field from what I saw it uh, it really was so proud of these guys proud of our coaches and uh, grateful to be in this bowl game so with that, open up for questions. I think it was 654 to 33 or something for the yards. I mean, how do you explain a discrepancy like that? Well, it's football, and I think it's it's easy to explain. I feel like we made plays on the offensive side, and our defense, all the, the detailed things that were coming up throughout the couple of weeks of prep, uh, they tried. And our guys did a great job of just communicating. And I think what was difficult for Northern Illinois tonight, I thought the D-line played really well. And the front seven and linebackers, we, we seemed to get after, I don't know how many sacks we had, but we seemed to get after the quarterback tonight. And it really felt like they didn't get a lot going in the run game uh, where they wanted to. And that's just a credit to our guys up front uh, doing their job in the front seven. And then when they did try some double moves in the secondary, uh, they had some opportunities and didn't make them, but we communicated and did what we had prepared to do. So really it just came down to the guys out there just doing their jobs. It was really that simple, and I thought both sides did that. Uh, disappointed in the kickoff return on special teams. That was one major emphasis we talked about was winning the kickoff start point, and we knew they had a great return. He showed that tonight. Uh, we shut it back down after that happened, but it's just that's that's the focus part that's got to be more consistent in that area. Other than that, it was a pretty pretty good game overall for for the Broncos. NIU is traditionally a pretty strong running <coughs> game. Uh, I mean, was it, what was the specific game plan to try and neutralize the running game, if any? Stop the run, and and honestly, that's what it is. I, I can't give you all the schemes that they would try to run against us, but it would stop the run. When it came down to it, we simplified it. Stop the run, stop the double moves, be aware of some of the, of number 19, the backs coming out of the backfield on some wheel routes is what it came down to. And that's exactly what the guys did. And I just felt like the one-on-one -on -one battles that we had, our guys were winning it. And it was technique, effort, whatever that was, uh, those one-on-one -on -one battles were going in our favor, and it's just a credit to our guys being prepared to go out there. And I thought we looked fresh. I thought we, we flew around. I thought our team was fast tonight, and that was a credit with our coaching staff or our condition, or excuse me, strength staff with our conditioning uh, going into this game because that's one area that that really gets um, I think devalued when it comes to bowl games, and it showed up tonight. I think it took you guys all of the plays and the 58 seconds to, to get on the board. You know, you guys go up 21 nothing after the first quarter. Did this one ever feel like it was in doubt? I mean, when did you guys really feel like you had firm control on this one? Yeah, well, I don't think we ever feel like it's, it's sure-handed. We've been in enough games. This is a smart team and a smart staff. I don't think anybody ever walks out there, maybe towards the end of the game in the fourth quarter, when you're starting to run the ball and you got some of the backups in there, you know that numerically they're not going to be able to come back uh, but no, I don't ever think that was any uh, anybody on the sideline that relaxed at all. And to me, that's that's the focus of what these guys came to do tonight. They came or today. They came to play, and it, it showed up. So it's a credit to our guys. Coach, right here in the uh, yesterday, we I asked you uh, what it would, what it meant to be in the Point City Bowl. So what does it mean to win the Point City Bowl? Well, it, it's a great 
opportunity for us here. And one, to, to play the team that we played. I know the matchup is very intriguing. I know a lot of eyes were on Boise State and Northern Illinois playing today. I know that this area in Southern California recruiting is big for us. Uh, so all those things outside of uh, our football team, uh, they're important. But I think the most important thing was what type of game that we were going to play today in the poinsettia bowl against that, our opponent and to show up more consistently. Uh, and that's always the, it's, it's the beginning of a new year, you know, so, hey, this, this year is over and proud of our team and coaches for what we're able to accomplish and, and the finish that we had, but it's on to the next for the guys coming back. And then for these seniors, it's on to the next part of their lives and how we can help them be successful that way too. Uh, Jeremy, uh, to score three in the bowl game was a tremendous feat. What was it like for you to have this kind of day? And could you ever have imagined a dominating performance like your team had today? Um, yeah, it was, it was good, but it was a team effort, starting with the offensive line. Uh, we all prepared well and came out and did what we had to do. First, uh, um, offense was so crisp tonight, right from the start, uh, and obviously got Shane back in there. But what, what was, you know, how would you explain just how how good the offense looked tonight and, and, and why it kind of came together the way it did tonight? Well, their preparation, number one, and, and having guys back, having Shane back tonight and being able to utilize him uh, opened up quite a few things. Uh, just even the threat, you know, we had one in there that we faked to him and Alec was able to get open. Uh, I think Shane told me he took about five guys is what he said, so we'll see that on tape. I just really felt like from watching Everybody out there in their performance tonight, guys were were starring in their role and making plays, uh, and really that's what showed up on the offensive side. But it's it's the total team effort. The defense getting three and out. The defense getting a turnover. The defense um, holding them on, on their side of the fifty for most of the night. Those things give you that momentum and that confidence on the other side of the ball as well. So. Uh, like Jeremy said, it was really that team effort. And I just thought the offense took advantage of their opportunities. I thought the defense took advantage of their opportunities. And we had a couple turnovers. They showed up. So uh, really guys just feeding off each other. And that's, I think, what we all felt tonight was that momentum. Even special teams, after the big play, they responded um, on kickoff by getting down there and, and pinning them again. So just uh, everybody feeding off each other, I think, really showed up tonight. At times, maybe the season didn't go how you guys would have wanted, but to finish it off with a win like this and in this kind of fashion, what what kind of statement, I guess, did you guys make tonight you know, for this season, but also for moving forward? Yeah, it's week to week. And you know, we'll go back and, and look at the entire season after this game. Uh, it was really about one more time for these guys and one last time for this group of 2015 Broncos. And that was the main focus. How are we going to finish? Uh, what type of performance we were going to have. We're going to be proud of it. We wanted to win the game. Uh, didn't know it would go as well as it did, uh, but we worked for that. And that's always something you're hoping for, but you're anticipating, all right, if something negative does happen, hey, we're going to handle adversity and keep fighting. Really felt like the fourth quarter was going to be ours. And we had talked about that going to the San Jose State game. So it was a 1-0 season tonight. And overall for these guys, I think when you're able to sit in the film room and be around these guys. You know how much heart they have, how much they care, and how hard they work uh, to have the, the wins that we did get. So that's the main focus is what we were able to accomplish tonight and finishing the right way. Coach, so you said um, with a lot of recruits here from SoCal, was that a little extra incentive that you used for these boys? Or, um... uh, I don't think, you know, look, we have 30 plus guys from Southern California on our team. I'm sure that's a little incentive for them. <clears throat> Not something we focused on or talked about, but yeah, it's it's in the back of your mind that you know where guys are from. Family, we have quite a few guys, 50 plus guys from California on our team. So you have families here and that's important to our guys. <clears throat> Their families are here. Uh, they get a chance to see them, be around them. They get a chance to have more than maybe their immediate family uh, come to a game and watch. When you play, that's exciting. And you go out there and you have the performance that, that they played with tonight, uh, it's even more fun. So, yeah, I think for everybody, uh, maybe individually, there was some of that, but I think collectively as a team, uh, not something we focused on, but was in the back of our minds. And, and to have the performance we did tonight, 
I'm excited for those guys that are from this area. Coach, you guys have now won six of your last seven games. What's the biggest key to the season success? Well, I think there's a lot of things. Uh, I think it really has to do with the players and and just buy it into what we have to do for that one particular game, that conditioning is important, that preparation and focus are important, and, and how to do it and doing it the right way. Uh, I think we've had a, a pretty good formula. We're always tweaking it and trying to make it better, but uh, it's just a credit to our guys on how, they, how serious they take when you have the moments to get better and prepare. To me, that's the key. And I thought it showed up tonight. So there wasn't a whole lot uh, of coaching. These guys were out there doing it, and they were talking, and they were making adjustments, and, and you know, they really took the game over. And to me, that's just uh, our team really being focused and wanting to win the game. And I think one of the big reasons is, is part of what we talk about, uh, to win that bowl game and that belief that it, that is important, um, that's huge. With the quick 21 nothing start, I mean, how important was that with a – freshman quarterback in his first bowl game, or is he good enough to where, I guess, that idea isn't as important as it might seem? Uh, yeah, he's, it's important for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> not just for him, it really is. It's important for everybody to get out there and start that way. And uh, not just on the offensive side, for everybody. We want to start fast. Start fast is for special teams, defense, and offense. Uh, and that's what the point we made, and those guys did it. For the quarterback, what's it like when you can have a game like this and move the ball almost at will and, and rack up points and <clears throat> keep talking to the right team? Yeah, um, you know, I think it helps, obviously, starting off just getting the run game going. And I felt like you know we were executing you know everything that was being called tonight. And that's something that we would really focused on. And I think our preparation going into this game was really, really good. And, uh, you know, when you can when you can get the run game going like that, and you know your offensive line is doing a great job protecting, it makes my job a lot a lot easier. So. Shane, what uh, you know, what what does this mean to you to get out there your last game as a senior, be healthy, and, and play the way you did tonight? Uh, it felt good just to be out back out there with my team. Uh, I know I had been out for about a month, and so I felt like I came back and the coaches put me in a spot in my role, like Coach Arshman was saying told us last night that we all should just go out and start our roles. And I feel like I, I did my part in my role with the role they gave me. Any more questions for Coach? I mean, with you and NIU, both, I guess, the uh, group of five powers uh, such success recently. I mean, does that make this lopsided win a little more sweet? And going up against a team that, I guess, somewhat compared to as far as a group of five power? Um, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it like that. Uh, I think the teams going into the game were very comparable. If you were looking at statistically over the last four or five years, and we obviously looked at those things, but I think tonight we were different, and I, and I thought our guys were different. And it's not about you know what you asked. It's not about that. It's about performing and doing our best and making sure that what we're prepared to do, we go out there and, and we get that done. Because we spend a lot of time working on it for three and a half hours. And to have the performance that we did, that's what we care about. And then to have these guys go out the way they, they did tonight, um, that makes every one of us as Broncos proud. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this one's for Brad. Um, you know, the offense as a whole kind of had some highs and lows this year. Um, some big performances, some big turnover games. To, to this your last game as a freshman, to have this kind of performance, just, just what does this mean for the offense as a whole going forward and for you going forward? Yeah, you know, I think it, it was huge. Uh, you know, what we talked about all week is we want to finish and we want to send these seniors out the right way. And, uh, you know, like I said, we were executing on all cylinders tonight. I think anything that was called, we knew we were, we were, uh, we were gonna make it the best play possible. So uh, from that standpoint, it was really good. And, you know, we got a lot of good things to look forward to next season. And, you know, hopefully we can build on this. Tyler, uh, talking to Marcel, you said, uh, you know, you talked to coaches about your future a little bit. And, 
and uh, you know to go out and play like this in your last game and sort of a chance to showcase what you can do. What uh, what this game mean to you and, um, and what you trying to do? It meant a lot to me uh, personally. I mean, I, it wasn't my last game playing with all these guys, and uh, to have a strong finish uh, really feels good. Connelly, for you, what, what did this game mean to you? I guess, and, and not knowing what your future holds, what, what did it mean to have to go out kind of like this and, and uh, finish with a strong performance? Um, I really just wanted to go out and enjoy my time with my teammates. Um, like you said, um, I'm not 100 percent sure about my future yet. I, st I still need to go home and talk with my family a little bit. But um, this is a team effort, and I'm glad that we got the win tonight. And I appreciate all my teammates for everything that they do. Jeremy, for, uh, for you, before I uh, almost break my camera, uh, obviously looking at uh, what you guys got coming back next season between you, Brett, Thomas, potentially four starting linemen coming back. How exciting is the future? Um, just to finish off this this game with a win for the seniors and uh, for a guy that's not coming back next year, it, it really springboards us into next season. and. Uh, I feel like we have a bright future. Everybody can give me uh, more experience. Tyler, uh, you know, you've you know, been kind of that co-starter role for three years around here, and yeah. obviously been extremely productive. What, what has this, you know, the last few years been like for you to, to kind of be the guy in the shadows a little bit, but but obviously you, you go out there and produce when you get the chance. Um, I mean, sometimes you you're not on the field all the time, but when you do get on there, you have to. To make it count, and I think that's what I've been able to do. All right, one more question. All right, thank you guys.